I'm Teresa, owner of Trilata. Welcome to our channel. I'm Shelly. I'm one of the managers at Trilata. So we usually do a live video on the first Friday of the month, but we're having a Karen Gibbs event today, right when this video goes live. So we're doing a special different kind of video today. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to answer questions that you all submitted to us over on Instagram, and then we'll show you some new arrivals at the end. Um, also, this weekend we're having a special sale, and we wanted to make sure you're the first to hear about it. We are offering 24% off of all fabric um, Saturday and Sunday, and 12% off Notions. And we are doing that because it's our anniversary, our 12th anniversary. <laughs> party <laughs> so that's where 12 and 24 come from um again 12 percent off notions which includes patterns and does that include thread is thread in our notions category online uh, i think it might be in yeah our notion. okay holy cow so we don't I normally do that in notions okay i think uh all the scissors and pins Holy and cow. all of that and zippers are all in notions needles, needles. okay all right so it's essentially uh fabric and then and then um, pretty so much everything, everything else. else nice so the codes will be listed down below in the description box there will be a code for fabric and a code for notions and you can combine them in the cart so you can use both Woohoo! <laughs> all right so we're going to move on to the q a section i have a complaint to lodge i thought i was going to get to see these questions before the recording of this video but apparently no no. So, in fact, I just saw them like three minutes ago. <laughs> so these are all going to be um, fun, fun to answer. What's your favorite craft to do? My favorite craft. Oh, my goodness. Um, I, I would have to say um, just sewing in general. However, I also love to knit. I am now also a crocheter. Um, I love to make like candles and lotions, and lip balms and those kinds of things. I, I like to do it all. I've done book, book binding, um, screen printing. Um, I, just, I just love making things. So it's hard for me to pick a favorite. So I should have asked, what's your least favorite craft? <laughs> what's well, one you wouldn't do again? So my husband's really into like Warhammer and stuff, putting together the little miniatures and painting them. That's not my favorite. Okay, fair enough. Because there's a lot of like little parts and, and lopping things off and sanding and it's cool. It's just not my thing. Okay, fair enough. What's your favorite class you've taught and mm. your favorite class you've taken? Mm. Yeah, advance notice would have been nice. I could have thought not <laughs> on air. Um, let's see. That sneaker class we did recently, that was really cool. Mm -hmm. In fact, they're right here. Oh, look at that. With stuff in them. <laughs> Holding the new puzzles. <laughs> yes, the sneaker class. That was really fun. <laughs> that wasn't planned, guys. So that was a fun class. Um, I don't know. I just, I love so many things and I love teaching them. Um, so that was just an unusual one that we had recently. So that was, that's fresh in my mind. Um, that was a fun one. And what about your favorite class you've taken? I've taken. Um, okay. So I just love taking classes. I love to learn things. I love to make things. And when I actually take a class, then I, I might get something done because I'm putting aside the time for it. Like when I took Leslie's overalls class, that was fun because I got my overalls done. Um, I took a week long workshop in Alabama, um, Alabama Channon. So with Natalie Channon, that was really cool. Um, we, it was a pattern making workshop. So we, um, made, um, made slopers to fit our bodies. Nice. So that was pretty cool. Um, I, I don't know. I love so many different things. <laughs> Make All them right. less hard, Shelly. Make them less Where hard. Where was Trilada's first location? We were on South Broadway before, too. Originally, we were up a block and a half north of Evans on the east side of the street also. And um, we were in the 1900 block, South Broadway. That was the first location. We were there for a couple of years, and it was fun. It was a, a small-ish spot, um, but it was fun. What's the hardest thing about having your own business? Mm. I can answer everything. <laughs> a lot of things I might not want to say on camera. <laughs> um, it's just, it's just a lot, you know, it's, it's just a lot. I'm, I'm here a lot. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, But it's fun. I love it. But it's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Owning your own businesses is a lot. Mm -hmm. What's one of your favorite sewing books? Mm. Well, I can go back to the um, Alabama Channon stuff again. Those books are great. Um, Oh, I didn't really say what that is. So... Um, Natalie Channon kind of developed this technique of reverse applique on knits and she didn't, you know, invent reverse applique (laughs) and probably not reverse applique on knits either, but she's turned it into this huge movement. I guess it's, it's slow stitching. It's all done by hand. Um, and you can actually buy pieces from them. They're couture pieces that sell for hundreds and thousands of dollars. Um, she told a story about how she actually made a tree skirt, a huge tree skirt for uh, when Obama was was president. And it, this um, tree skirt went to the White House and she got to go and see cool. it. And she she like bent down to touch it. And then you know, the Secret Service was like, no, you can't touch that. She's like, well, I, I made it. It's not yours anymore. <laughs> So um, just really cool things. But she's also made it really accessible to the public with, you know, writing her books, doing her classes. Um, But it's basically, you know, all done by hand. Um, And then you cut away reverse applique. You cut away the top fabric to expose the back fabric. And then there are so many different techniques she's, you know, come up with and talked about since then. But that's kind of like the, the bread and butter of Alabama Shannon. So it's slow stitching by hand on knits. Nice. Usually in, in making clothes too, isn't it? Yes, mostly garments. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's the project that you're most proud of? Mm. <laughs> my kid? Can I talk about my kid? And, or no, you mean crafty, crafty projects. You did create your kids. So. Yes. Yeah. Um, it doesn't specify. It doesn't specify. I mean, the dress I'm wearing right now, I'm, you know, it's wearable. That's not always the case. All right. If your sewing room was on fire, what would you grab first? Mm. Probably my machine. Not the cat? Well, duh, the cat. <laughs> duh, the cat. <laughs> but if it's only the sewing, the sewing room, that's, well, yeah, he'd be with me wherever I am. So. Okay, yep. Cat under one arm, sewing machine under the other. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else would be in there that I just can't live without. Vintage tulip pink. Yeah, yeah. There's probably some vintage, vintage tulip pink. Other things you can't get anymore. Yeah. Okay, probably that too. But okay, the cat. <laughs> That's all your questions. Aren't there any for you? No. <laughs> oh, I paid Carrie. Uh huh. Great. Okay. What's what's the sewing project you're most proud of? Oh gosh, I have no idea. Why don't you show something you just recently made? I'm thinking of the, yeah, that. Well, I showed him last week. Oh, okay. All right. But I made one for the shop. Yay, and we're kidding it. And um, it's it, a tooth fairy pillow. We're doing both like pink tones and blue tones. Yep. And so we'll have this kitted. You can get the design from us. And the little people I gave it to, one wanted to play. Mm-hmm. And the other wanted to hang it up with no teeth and see. See what happened. See what happened if the tooth fairy would come. <laughs> Mom said no to both, Mm -hmm. Um, but yes. So we're kidding this. And then um, what I currently have under my machine at home is the DDE for uh, October. Mm -hmm. Next month. I have uh, the three gingerbread people and on their pillow. And I did grab, we did get this already. So we've got it in red and the pink. And we have it in the green stripe and the red. So these are, so I think when I sent out the email to the DDE people, I called this one the saturated, saturated green and red. And this one, I don't remember what I called it, probably just pink and red. Um, but I'm going to have to do one of each. Yeah, I have, I have one of each, one of each going. But yes, I have the, the clothing one under, on my machine right now. And then you've done this this week. Yes. So, um, oh, I shouldn't say tonight because that's going to be confusing because we're we're taping this a little bit early, (laughs) recording it a little bit early. It's not a tape anymore. This week. This week. week, um, We are doing our DDE demo on this little boo, fabulous backpack. 
kits are ready kits are ready it's it's cute um we do not have any of these cinch sacks yet but we'll make sure to get it in as a pre-order item yes um but apparently some fell off the back of a truck mm -hmm. <laughs> they said kimber bell said like a box of 500 of them didn't make it to them and even though we're on auto ship and we're supposed to get stuff automatically we didn't get ours so we want to know who got theirs who got that's theirs right. and we didn't who has 500 of them yeah <laughs> and and that's probably you know what they probably also have the needle binders too. oh the needle. okay that yeah. finally we got in yeah yeah perfect mm -hmm. so um but they they make a tote bag blank that's i think pretty much the same exact color which i would probably use more than a little cinch backpack anyway so I mm -hmm. think the tote, the gray tote bag is going to be a great um, substitute for the yes. cinch backpack. Awesome. Yeah. So this is September's. And then there's a class coming up. We have two um, Kimberbell events coming up. So these are events that have happened before. So we've been combining some of them. <laughs> I know, isn't that cute? A little jar topper. Um, what did we give this guy? We gave this guy a name. I don't remember his name. Yeah, I don't either. But a little jar topper, a little spider Spidey. top. So this you make in the event. You make this little leather tote in the event. Like this, this her bun, it's like fringy. And then the mummy has actual fabric strips wrapped around them. It's pretty cute. And then there's a little card holder kind of thing that's hanging in the other room that, that you make during that event. So this is all on September 21st. It's an all day thing, nine to five, but it is only one day. So that's treats for my boo. On the same day, we're going to be doing Harvest Table. And yeah, I never quite finished my whole table runner because I only I only did one corner. <laughs> but you do all four down. corners like this. Glittery leaves, pumpkins, and acorns. So this is a gray linen table runner. Oh, did I tell you? They have the napkins back in stock now too, so we can order some more of those. Nice. Yep. So we do have extras of these too if you want to make one for a friend or a family member, a gift, something. Um, we do have extras of these table runners. And then in the event, you also make one napkin, but you get all four. So you can go home and make, make more. And you have choices. You can do the more traditional sayings. This one says blessed, and there are four different designs. One's a fall leaf, one's a, I, I forget. It's been a while since we had this event. As a, traditional and then some a little snarky. And then snarky. they have some little snarky sayings like, leftovers are for quitters gobble till you wobble like that that kind of mm -hmm. stuff so i did make my sample in the more traditional one because you never know what people are gonna think of the other ones i would probably at home have the snarky ones and then the um napkin, napkin rings yeah so that's um so it's the table runner the napkins and the napkin rings that you make in harvest table and it comes with all the hardware and you know the the napkins the table runner all that stuff Oh, I still have stuff. threads in here. I should just you finish this project and get threads those threads out of the box. <laughs> mm -hmm. I noticed the threads were in here, but we still have openings in both. And I'm Harvest sh Table has been retired. Yes. So we only got like eight kits. Yes. And I think we have four spots mm -hmm. left for mm -hmm. Harvest Table. So after this, you won't be able to get them anymore. In fact, I think Kimberbell had to kind of scrounge to <laughs> make enough kits for us. Yeah. So um it might be they, your last chance for that one they did and if you can't make it on the day of but you still want to do it just sign up and let us know and that way you've got your kit and then you can come to another event later and just make your your stuff there we'll walk you through stuff then this guy is so cute this is a new quilt kit we have it's northcott it's very merry christmas something like that I can't see. How are we, how are we doing? Can you We're see his face? Yeah. yeah, we yeah. can see his face. Look I at his cute his little face. face. And um, it's really pretty. It's going on the wall today. Yeah. And we have kits for it. And then I love the little bear fabric we got on the back here, too. Those little bears yes. are so cute. Yes. So hmm. those are available. I'm just going to snuggle with it right yeah. now. And then um, we are... Um, eventually going to be selling this sample so I put wool batting in there because it's a you know wintry quilt and I love wool batting um, so if you're interested in buying our sample once our kits are sold um, let us know we'll get you on a list and I use Teresa's shoe <laughs> as a puzzle holder as a puzzle holder so they didn't roll all over we got some new mini puzzles in I think this one have we had this one before I don't know I don't, maybe have... not but um but these get... make the they're four by six puzzles like four inches by six inches they are super 
cute mm -hmm. and they're fun to to make or to put together. I took the oct or, yeah the octopus one home last night the other night and did it in a little over an hour. Um, but it's just like a fun little fun little activity. Here we've got holiday cookies. They make great stocking stuffers. They do. We've got some more holiday ones. We have a Hanukkah one out there. This is the little reindeers. Reindeer making snow angels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Halloween, haunted house. I think this is the one that said something in the description about worst B&B &B ever. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, and I actually have the sample of this one that I put together. This is the one that's been out there. Nice. Nice. What else do we have back here? Oh, we have an Athena bag kit and these new kits behind you. All right. Carrie put these together. They're really cute. So Athena crossbody bag by Knot and Thread Design. So and that's what it looks like. Beth Ann's going to be teaching that class. Oh, cool. Okay. So here's a kit nicely labeled, all the hardware, mesh fabric and everything. Here um, you can see the fabrics a little bit better. These are the fabrics that are, ugh, there we go, in, in the kit. She did a great job on that. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, some more new kits. Yeah. These are really cute too. <laughs> this is um, designed by Sandy Gervais, pieces, pieces from my heart, quilt pattern, fabric for quilt top and binding. Um, it's a Riley Blake um, collection by Chris Sandy Gervais. Chris Christmases in town. Christmases in town. Panel kit quilt kit look at how cute that is adorable all right and then yeah. one more Ugh. this is called up on the house housetop and this um, one's by teresa kogurt kogurt there's kogurt. no r Co kogurt, kogurt? <laughs> we'll have huh. to figure out how to pronounce her name and um, uh, quilt pattern fabric for the quilt top and binding nice mm -hmm. another riley blake one yes cute yeah awesome i think are we done i think we are are we done anything <laughs> else oh so this weekend again is our 12th anniversary so come um hang out with us saturday and sunday we're having the fabric and notion sale um friday night karen gibbs is coming to talk to us about batiks so come to that part of your registration goes toward fabric purchases and they'll be on sale um and she does a great talk i am excited to finally get to hear it and so yeah come come say hi to us this weekend for our anniversary don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of our future videos we didn't give away any prizes today well, since so, we're not live. Well, but you know what that means. We should better give some away this weekend. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Prizes <laughs> this weekend! Yep, let's do it. Awesome. Um, yeah, so um, we're so grateful for your support over the years. We couldn't still be here if it wasn't for all of you guys. So um, we can't believe it's already been 12 years. Um, here's to 12 more. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Hopefully you'll spend some of it with us. And um, that's, that's it. We'll see you in the shop. We'll see you soon. Thank Bye. You. Bye.